Hi, my name is Paul Murphy. Um, I restore antiques and vintage items. Uh, you'll see by the name of my channel that I restore telephone boxes, old telephone boxes, Irish telephone boxes. Uh, I'm not a professional restorer, I'm not a professional upholster, I'm not a professional carpenter. But uh, I do it, uh, it started out as a hobby and a passion and that's what it is, a passion. So although I may not have all the answers and I may not do it the best and most professional way, the restoration, I'll do it from the, you're doing it from doing it from the eyes of a DIYer. I have a lot of friends in the business that I can get advice from and I look up a lot and research a lot. So this chair is uh, a first generation Eames chair manufactured by Hill in London. Um, aging of the chair, um, I've been looking at ways of, of, of determining how old your chair is. These uh, metal loops for hooking on to the hooks and these chrome coloured hooks on the backs of the, of the uh, uh, for, for the cushions uh, means these came into play in af after, or sorry, in did this went out of play in 1971. So if you have these in your chair, it means it's prior to 1971. So that was a start. The second uh, thing that I looked at for these was um, the amount of screws. Sorry, I'll just get this here. This is the arm that the screw, that the, that the uh, goes onto the side of the chair that the armrest goes onto. So three screws means that it's first generation. And they say on what I was looking at that it's between 1956 and 1960. But I don't know if that just relates to the Herman Miller chairs that were manufactured in the USA or if it means if it also relates to the ones that were manufactured by Hill in the UK. It's possible, it's possible that Hill used a part a bit longer than, than um, or after. Uh, Herman Miller ceased using them, so I, I, I'm going to look into that more. But it, it, I'm, I am sure of one thing, and that is that it's a, it's a an original first generation uh, Eames lounge chair, an ottoman uh, manufactured by Hill in in in, uh, in the UK. So that's it. So. The, the restoration will be broken down into three parts, uh, and I'll do I'll do a video for each part. Or two parts. Uh, one first part is the the plywood and the the mounts, the rubber mounts on it. They have to be replaced, and there's damage to the uh, plywood. I'll show you where that is. And the second part will be the restoration of the leather and the cushions. So I hope you enjoy the video and stay along with me uh, on the journey and subscribe to my channel to see them. The ottoman is in perfect condition. It has uh, very little problems with it. Very little wear, very little damage. You can see the, uh, the veneer, the rosewood veneer is in great nick. It has the original uh, label from Herman Miller. I'll show you that label, but you can see that. So I'm going to take this out of the way so I can show you the problems that were happened that are the rest of the chair. The base, like the uh, the ottoman, is in good nick. Um, the two rubber mounts will need to be taken off. This this one is, is already gone. I don't know if it fell off or someone took it off and uh, trying to repair, do a repair before. But this one will have to be taken off, so I will have to um, ease it off with a Stanley knife uh, and and uh, just get it off and clean off underneath. So I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, that will be covered in the video uh, where I'm doing this work. Um, the um, that's all. That's on this. Yeah. So let me take that out of the way. I'll show you where the, the, the major work on the chair will be in this part. This lower part, and this is the, 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 the rubber mounts which were uh, patented by Herman Miller on these chairs uh, are the Achilles heels, they are what, what breaks down on them. The rubber uh, eventually gets disintegrates and it comes apart. And when one side goes, you're left with the, this, this side obviously snapped off. I can show you. 
here's what was left. This actually pulled off the base here, you can see it fits in. So when that went, this side was left holding the weight of the back and whoever was sitting on the chair at the time, and this has got damaged. So you can see this is coming away here. Now luckily, there is no, and I'll give you a close up of this. Now, luckily there's no damage to the, the exterior veneer. So if I can get the repair done without damaging the veneer, all the better. Because that's the hardest part to match. It's impossible to get rosewood now. It's, uh, it's an endangered species and you can't use, uh, they can't harvest rosewood anymore for use in furniture. So you can see the damage here. It's been pulled away and you can see it goes right through to the other side. So I'm gonna have to get that mount off see and then getting the integrity back on this side although there's no the strength is still there in what's left it did although as, whereas this isn't because you can see it's 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 giving way there so that's going to be the hardest part of the whole the whole process the like like the ottoman sorry like the ottoman the uh the veneers on the back are in very very good condition and they've lovely uh deepness to the color so I don't think I'll be doing a whole lot of work on them. There's a scratch there. I imagine that was in recent movements, I'd say. Um, and also these mounts here, these are original and you can see they're disintegrating a bit. So I'd like to replace them and these ones at the bottom, if I can get some replacements. Um, they're not as important as obviously the, the other ones on the side, but I will replace them as well. And this, uh, I see some people uh, polish this up again as well. The aluminium uh, supports here. But that's mainly what I'm going to do on the, the frame of the chair. This is the original uh, Charm Charles Eam design label. It was for Herman Miller, Zealand, Michigan. Made by Hill of London. Uh, sole concierge, concessionary, sorry, for British Commonwealth and Scandinavia. Now, Hill, I think, had the um, the license to make these chairs for only 10 years. And I tried looking it up too. I think there was some issue on quality that they lost the agency. Uh, it'd be interesting to find that out. And I tried to find out exactly what years they had it for. So that's, it's interesting to have. That, that label is on both the... the um, Ottoman base and the uh, and the chair. So it's nice to see, you can see the beautiful, beautiful rosewood veneer, all in beautiful condition. Very, very little damage, she just scuffs. It was obviously well cared for and loved in whatever it was uh, and not abused by kids or anything. So uh, it's going to be interesting. The next part of the restoration will be the, uh, the leather and the cushions on the chair. And these are in poor, poor condition. Um, and the temptation will be to replace them and nice new leather, but I'd like to keep the original leather if I could, if it's at all possible, and it's in a poor shape. The back of the chair is fine. These are fine, they just need to be plumped up a bit, fill them a bit, so I want to show you, tell you, explain to you what I'm going to hope to do there. These two are fine, and with, with a bit of uh, feed the leather and that, that'll be all lovely, lovely. Here's where the problems are, these tears. These tears in the seat. Um, and I've been looking up repairing leather and I'm going to try this. Whether it works out or not, I don't know, but I'm going to try it before I, I replace. I can still replace at a later stage if I have to, but I'm going to try repairing them. There's pairs in this, the Ottoman one as well. I'd say these, I think these, these are interchangeable, the Ottoman at the back, and those two. So I think these were probably changed around, so they probably got the same amount of kind of wear. So um, I will repair the leather and the cracks and feed it all and maybe Color, I don't know, maybe a colouring if it needs it. And then um, on the inside, another part of the ageing, uh, trying to age the chairs, you can see um, the down, loads of down coming out here. Down was the original filling of the chair. I don't know when they stopped using down, but it was when they were used at first. There appears to be some kind of a, a foam uh, underneath, and then a layer of the down. So I think what, what I'm going to do to make, I was looking at getting foot cushions made and everything else for the inside here, but I think what I'll try to do is uh, maybe insert an inch of foam underneath this to give it a new life, to lift it all up. So that will be done in another video. Between the leather and uh, the cushions, I'll, I'll do another video on that. 
So that's 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 basically what hopefully will will uh, will end up to clean the two the bases for the ottoman and the chair. I'll clean them up as well. So that's going to be the journey, and I hope you come along with me for that journey because uh, it's going to be interesting, and I'm very passionate about this. Uh, and I hope at the end of it, I'll have a lovely, comfortable chair and not the mess I have now. Thanks for watching, guys, and. Uh, Tune in, uh, subscribe to the channel please and, and uh, for further videos and uh, see how we get on here. Thank you.